This is a block of solid carbon dioxide. This is 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The surface of Pluto, four times colder than this block right here. A few years ago, a spaceship flew by everyone's favorite former planet Pluto, giving us this breathtaking up-close look. I'm Dave Malkoff, high above Earth in a spaceship with... Verona Malkoff. Hey, that gave me an idea. I wanted to get a close-up look at some of the other dwarf planets in our solar system. We can't actually call Pluto a planet anymore. That's because there's a lot of stuff out there that's just about the same size. Like Aries. It's about the same size as Pluto, but it's three times farther away from the sun. A day on Aries is about the same as an Earth day. But an Aries year is much longer. It takes Aries. 557 of our years to orbit the sun. This guy, Vlad Dracula, was still alive one Aries year ago. One Aries year. <laughs> well, our next dwarf planet is a lot smaller. It's called Haumea. I'm not making it wrong. Haumea is actually shaped like that. Here's what it may look like way out there past Neptune in the Kuiper Belt. So Haumea, and now here's another Hawaiian name for you. Make Make. That's so fun to say. It's just a little smaller than Haumea. It takes Maka Maka 305 years to orbit the sun, making it super cold. But during a Maka Maka summer, the dwarf planet may form a thin nitrogen atmosphere. Ooh, it's cold out there. Why don't we take our spaceship a little bit closer? Between Mars and Jupiter, there's a big asteroid belt. The biggest thing in there is Ceres. Ceres has volcanoes and water. That means it could sustain life. Scientists think if there's not bacteria living there now, there might have been some in the past. So aliens? Microscopic aliens? <laughs> well, that's all the time we have here. But now you know about five dwarf planets. Open your phone's camera now and scan the screen to learn everything that NASA knows about these frozen worlds. I'm Dave Malkoff. And I'm Verona. We'll see you next time.